encoding of an arbitrary function into an ancillary qubit using controlled rotations. There are many algorithms in which one needs to encode some function f, which depends on the register x, into an ancillary qubit. Here are a few examples. Harrow has a Lloyd algorithm, which solves the system of linear equations, quantum Monte Carlo methods, subroutine for the amplitude encoding, quantum digital to analog conversion, and matrix decomposition for variational quantum linear solver. In these examples, encoding into ancillary qubit can be used for the eigenvalue inversion as an HHL or to encode some other desired function. Such mapping can be done in two steps. First, one needs to compute the arc sign of the control register, performing the following mapping to an additional register. If this additional register consists of k qubits, it will be a binary representation of the arc sign of the function f from x divided by 2 pi on k qubits. Second, one should encode the value of the additional register into the ancillary qubit using controlled rotations. If we now apply the second operation to the register which holds the arc sign, we will perform the desired mapping into an ancillary qubit. For small systems, where the value of x are known a priori, it is convenient to skip the first step calculating the arc sign and just calculate it classically by incorporating it into the rotation angles in step number 2. Next two videos will describe how to calculate the arc sign using a quantum computer for the first step and implement conditional rotations for the second transformation.